Hey, what's up guys? Dan 4 k from Tech Entourage here. Welcome to my channel. I know it's been a while since my last video. It's about 15 days ago. And that delay was because I was a little bit busy moving to this new space here. So, it's a new space, new year, and a new awesome section has been created. All of us know that nowadays smartphones are not only meant to make phone calls, and all of us have dreamed about having a phone that can act like a real, trusted and credible assistant. Something like, let's say, Jarvis. Jarvis from Iron Man. That dream now can be true with Tasker application. Coming up, right away. Tasker application is the kind of apps that can make your life a lot easier. It's fully configurable and customizable and automated. As soon as you get familiar with the feature of Tasker, you can do whatever you want with it. And believe me, there is no application that can perform tasks the way that Tasker does. And today is going to be an introduction to the Tasker application. So, without any further ado, let's jump up to my smartphone. Tasker is really more of a tool than an app. And like any other tool, it's, it takes time to learn and effort to master. I'm going to get you comfortable with the basics, then teach you its more powerful function of a series of a how-to videos in the Tasker guide section. Presuming that you have already forked out the $3.49 to purchase Tasker from the Google Play Store, let's open the app and take a look around. You will first notice some tabs up to the top of screen, but otherwise nothing much to betray the power hiding under the hood. Each tab relates to a different aspect of Tasker's workflow, so let's begin by learning some of the terms used in Tasker. First of all, actions. Actions are the things that Tasker can change on your phone, from disabling Bluetooth to turning on your PC using Wake on LAN. The giant list of actions that Tasker can perform can be found on the video description below. If there is an action that you are surprised to find missing from the list, you can search in the Google Play Store for Tasker plugins. Also, local plugins, which are actually shares the same plugin architecture. So, search for local and Tasker plugins, as they will work too. Plugins are some sort of apps, third-party apps that can work with Tasker and give you and provide more list of the actions that are originally missing from the built-in list in Tasker. Now let's jump to tasks. Tasks are unsurprisingly the heart of Tasker. In order for Tasker to perform an action, it needs to be first placed within a task. Tasks can consist of a single action or of many triggered one after the other, and can even include if and else statement and other variables. Tasks are usually triggered when specific contexts occur, but can be triggered manually or by third-party apps, like for example NFC. NFC required a third-party apps to trigger a task. Let's jump to context. Contexts are the triggers in Tasker and are linked to tasks via profiles. Contexts are divided into two types. States, which are ongoing but have an end event, event such as being connected to your Wi-Fi network and event which are instant in use such as receiving a text message. The list of possible contexts is huge. 
you can find some links in the video description below. I recommend you to review this list to gain inspiration for creating your profiles. Let's jump to the profile. The profile page is the main screen of Tasker, and for good reason too, they are what join contexts, which are events, to tasks, which are actions. Profiles can be triggered by up to four combined contexts, but given their nature, only one of these contexts can be of the event type. Profiles based on state context can also include an additional exit task, which is triggered when the state ends. Ok, let's recap. A profile is activated when one or more specific contexts occur, and it will then trigger a task which consists of one or more actions. Back to the main screen of Tasker, you will also notice Scenes tab. Scenes are graphical elements that you can create to get user input, such as pop-ups, boxes or widgets. And also, we have VAS tab. VAS are the variables you have created to have tasks communicate between each other or to carry information from other apps. There are two types of variables built-in variables and variables that can be created by the user. We won't be getting into either of these today through. So, for now, all you have to do is to think of something that you want it to be done automatically. Ok, no need for that. We will do a profile creation test. Today let's create a profile that automatically alerts you when someone sends you a text message. Ok, in order to do that, let's open Tasker. Ok, here is the profile page, it's the main page. Let's create a profile event. Let's choose phone and receive a text. Ok. We'll, we'll let everything to default since any here refer to MMS or SMS. I will let it as default. Ok. We will push the back button to save it. And now we are going to create a task. Let's select a new task. We will name it as M S form 2. I named it 2 since I already have this, um, this task. Ok. Let's create an action. Alert action. Then save action. And let's type what we want it to be dictated from our phone when we receive a text message. For example, Sir, you received a text message from... Ok, here's the deal. I'm going to input a variable. The variable is going to be well, well, here it is. Text form name. As soon as I select it, okay, you see the percentage SMSRN. This is the format how uh, variables can be. Okay, we will get deep into that in the upcoming videos. Okay. Uh, engine voice will let to default and stream will put it as a notification. The rest will stay as default. We'll go back. Okay. Here's also another thing as you can see, receive text any. The profile has not been named yet. We can name it or rename it as M as. Two. Okay, now it's time to test it. So, in order to test it, let's send a text message from another phone. Okay, 
sending the text message now. Actually, it's my brother's phone. Okay. Text message sent. Moment of the truth. working congratulations okay guys that's it for the introduction today i hope you get a little bit more familiar with tasker and don't worry there is a lot a lot coming up in the next videos it's going to be a weekly episode so if you like the video please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and if you're new consider subscribing for any further questions or suggestions, please let them in the comment section below. So, I see you in the next video. Peace.